Welcome to Audio for Converge Media, COM 1560. This is Production Project 2, Recording a Conversation. What we're going to do this, we're going to record a conversation with ourselves. We're going to split the parts into two on separate tracks. One's going to sound rich and up close. The other one's going to sound far and distant. One is going to be panned to the left. One is going to be panned to the right. We're going to walk over the track so it sounds like we're actually having a conversation with somebody, not just ourselves, when we kind of cut each other off and stuff like that. Our final version must be very close to, if not exactly, 30 seconds long. And then we'll mix down the entire thing, send the MP3, send the screenshot. We'll be good to go. You'll be graded on such things as two voices, effects, panning, walkover, along with the other uh, constant variables that I judge you on for all of your assignments. If you have any questions about multi-track editing, remember there's the instructional video and the instructions that come on Canvas and also for the edit view. Now, a lot of what we do is going to be done in multi-track view. So let's get started, shall we? Here is our Adobe Audition. Let's move it to multi-track. Now to record on multi-track, we pick the track we want to record on, and we're going to hit the R button to record and the S button for solo. This means the uh, track is now armed and ready to record. I'm going to hit the record button, and uh, now I'm recording on track one. Fantastic. Now, let me talk for 30 seconds about a whole bunch of nothing. Why, hello there. How are you doing today? I am doing so fantastic. I am so glad you asked. I just bought a gallon of milk. Really? What kind of milk did you buy? Well, I always drink whole milk. Whole milk? I heard that 2% milk was better for you. Maybe so, but I love the taste of whole milk. I put it on my cereal. I put it in my hot chocolate. I even just drink it whole, just out of the jug. That is amazing. Well, I wish you the best in your dairy adventures, my friend, and thank you for sharing with you. And thank you for allowing me to share with you my love of milk. Alrighty, that was dumb, but who cares? And I made a little edit in there. I had made a little mistake, so we're going to have to go back and fix that, among other things. So, now let's stop recording. I'm going to go down to the bottom, hit the square button, which is our stop button. Boom, we've stopped recording. I'm going to unarm the track by D-clicking R, D-clicking S. I'm going to zoom out a little bit. And now I can double-click on the track, and it's going to take me to edit view where I can edit it. Now, what I'm concerned about now is just editing the whole thing, so uh, we're going to split up things later. So, let's cut out the first part and a uh, bunch of nothing. Kind of like we did in, in uh, Project 1. Why, hello there. That was dumb, but who cares. Add up, and we're going to clean out the back part, highlight, delete. Dairy Adventures, my friend. And thank you for sharing with you. And thank you. I'm going to clean it up right there. Boom. And thank you for allowing me to share with you my love of milk. Okay. I'm going to add some volume to this. Actually, I'm going to hard limit it, so I'm going to amplify everything. Effects, amplitude, hard limit. This is all from project number one. Better for you. Let me go back to my multi-track view. I can right... Ooh, excuse me. I can right-click and drag this around. This is one thing we didn't talk about in project one. Project two, you can move your track around by right-click, drag. And you can move it up and, to, up and down, left and right, wherever you want. Right-click, drag. Remember... If it's not doing it, check the cursors. Make sure you're using the left cursor, the hybrid tool. So I can move it anywhere I want. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to split the track. I'm going to split it in parts and put voice one on track one and voice two on track two. Let's get to it. How we do that is I place the yellow line where I want to split it. Right click, split. Okay, let's get to it. Let's take a listen. Why, hello there. How are you doing today? I I'm going to right-click, and I'm going to put the yellow line right there. Right-click, split. Boom. I just bought a gallon of milk. Really? What kind of... I'm going to put a uh, the yellow cursor, right-click, split. What kind of milk did you buy? Split. Well, I... Oops. I always drink whole milk. Whole milk? You put the cursor where I want it. Right click, split. Whole milk? I heard that 2% milk was better for you. Click, place cursor, right click, split. So, but I love the taste of whole milk. I put it on my cereal. I put it in my hot chocolate. I even just drink it whole, just out of the jug. See how I'm splitting everything here? That is amazing. Split that. Well, I wish you the best in your dairy adventures, my friend. And thank you for allowing me to share with you my love of milk. See where I put the yellow line? Right-click, split, boom. 
Okay, I'm going to go back to home. And here I have all the pieces. And what I want to do is I want to take the a second voice and put it on track two. So I'm going to right click, drag, right click, drag, drag, drag. Alrighty. So now I have all my voices on track one and all my voices on track two. Now everything we're going to do here for project number two, there are many, many different ways to do it. I'm going to show you one way. And it's up to you to decide if you like it or to find something better. So let's zoom in. And we're going to move this. See, this is where the talk over comes in, where voice one talks over voice two a little bit. Put my cursor here, press play. So today, I am doing so fantastic. I am so glad you asked. I'm going to take this one and move it over here. Let's bought a gallon of milk. Really? What kind? Of it's a little too tight. Let's bought a gallon of milk. Really? What kind of milk did you buy? Right click, drag this. Remember, right click, drag. What kind of milk did you buy? Well, I always drink whole milk. Whole milk. Whole milk? You see how I'm right-click dragging and I'm listening to it. Here's the important thing to remember about this program and all audio programs and audio in general. You are listening to stuff, not just looking at it. You see how this looks nice? Oh, whoop de doo it looks nice. You need to listen to it to see how it sounds. It can look pretty and sound like crap. I want you to make sure that your things sound good. Milk was better for you. Maybe so. I move this over. Just out of the jug. That is amazing. Well, I wish you the best in your dairy adventures, my friend. And thank you for allowing me to share with you my love of milk. Okay, now I have all a voice one on track one, all a voice two on track two. And what we're going to do now is we're going to mix down track one only. So I double click on the track and the entire track lights up. Now I want to be able to highlight each of these. Now don't click drag. This does nothing. What you want to do is... You can double click on the track and the entire track will highlight. Or hold down the control key, left click, drag. Get a little box thing there. Now that they're highlighted, I want to mix these down. I'm going to go to edit, mix down to file, selected audio clips. Now this is only voice one. Why hello there. Really? What kind of milk? Go back to multi-track. I'm going to take this and drag it. Now, remember, the mix down, when you do a mix down, the first one's called mix down. When you do a second mix down, it's called mix down two, so on and so forth. Now, let's do mix down two, which will be on track two. So, I'm going to double-click the entire track or hold down the control key, highlight all of the uh, uh, clips there, edit, mix down to file, and now I have voice two here. I'm so glad you asked. I Let's go back to multi-track view. I'm going to take this from the clipboard, bring it over here to the uh, main multi-track. Now what I want to do is I want to get rid of all these little pieces here. I want to keep them because I'm, I'm going to use them later, but I want them out of the way. Control, left click, make a box, highlight everything. Now that they're all highlighted, right click, drag, and the entire thing moves over. Wow. Little things like that are great for housekeeping when you're recording and moving stuff around. Now let's move these two main ones, mix down one and mix down two, all the way to the left. So I'm going to control, uh, left click, and make the box. Right click, drag. Now I'm going to zoom in a little bit. See, make sure these are lined up. What are you doing today? I am doing so fantastic. I'm it's a little tight. What are you doing today? I am doing so fantastic. I am so glad you asked. I just bought a gallon of milk. Really? What kind of... Okay, now I have mixed down one, which is all voice one, and mixed down two, which is all of voice two. I'm going to go inside mixed down one. I'm going to click on it twice, and now I'm in edit view. Now, I, whatever I apply in here, it's going to apply to the entire uh, one just for mixed down one. So what I wanted to do is make this one sound rich up close. So I'm going to highlight everything. I'm going to apply the same effect to the entire track. Now, here's the fun part. If you go to effects, there's all sorts of fun effects here especially under delay effects, chorus, delay, echo, flanger, reverb, there's filters, there's amplitude, there's a lot of things. And this is where you get to play with it and go, that sounds kind of cool. I'm going to pick the chorus effect and the electro vibe. Why, hello there. How are you doing today? Yeah, it makes me sound kind of weird, doesn't it? Let's go back to my multi-track. Let's go to mix down two. I just bought And I need to add an effect to mix down two. So I'm going to highlight everything. We'll go to effects. How about filter? I'll go to the FFT filter. FFT filter has some great filters. This one sounds like I'm on the phone. Okay, it got kind of quiet, so now I'm going to add a amplitude effect. Boom. I love the taste of whole milk. Wow. So how does it sound when I put them together? So if I go back to multi-track view, hit the home key to go to the beginning, press the space bar for play. 
Why, hello there. How are you doing today? I am doing so fantastic. I am so glad you asked. I just bought a gallon of milk. Really? What kind of milk? Okay, the next thing we want to do is we want to pan our voices. One will be left, one will be right. Here is one way that you can pan. On the track, right-click on the track. See that's how now highlighted? Right-click once, this little window will come up. I'll go down to Adjust Audio Clip Pan. And here I can move it left or right. So we're going to go right, about 50. Hit Enter, boom. If you look over here, it says P49. Or 50 is close to close enough. Uh, let's go to track two. Right click. Adjust audio clip pan. And we'll move this one to the left. About 50. You can also go in here and just highlight the number yourself and type it in if you want. Okay, now if we play these back, home key space bar. Why, hello there. How are you doing today? I am doing so fantastic. I am so glad you asked. I just... All right, you see how now they're, they're panned differently. We got different voices. And they're talking over on top of each other. Excellent. Now we need to mix down these two so we have our final product. So what we can do is uh, hit the control key, left click, drag, make our box, edit, mix down to file, selected audio clip files. Boom. Let's take a listen. Why, hello there. How are you doing today? I am doing so fantastic. I am so glad you asked. I just bought a gallon of milk. Really? What kind of milk did you buy? Well, I always drink whole milk. Whole milk? I thought that 2% milk was better for you. Okay, so there's my diatribe about milk, I guess. If we look here in the bottom left, we can highlight the entire thing, and it'll say that it's 29.5 seconds. Now what we want to do is we want to save it. Remember this from um, uh, Project One, File, Save As. That sounds great. And then what we want to do here is mix down three is the mix down that we had for the combination of one and two. I'm going to zoom out here. And on our multi-track, I have all of our pieces now viewable. I've zoomed out our mix-down pieces and our mix-down mix-down piece. Now, this is the picture that I want. I want a picture of this. By looking at this, I can tell what you did. By looking at this, not necessarily. So I want you to send me a screenshot of this. You remember how to do the screenshot from Project 1. Also, the instructions are on Canvas. And that's how you do the conversation one. Remember, send me, make sure you name the file. Your name in Project 2, along with the JPEG, your name Project 2 on it. Uh, make sure you double-check it after you save it to make sure you're sending me the proper file. If you send me a file that's non-existent, you're not going to get any points for your project. If you have any questions, you can always contact me. This is Conversation, production project number two for Audio for Converged Media, COM 1560.